Did you know that we have the ability to see what hashtags a company is following on Instagram? This is incredibly helpful if you're an influencer trying to get in front of a company or brand that you want to work with. This is helpful if you are doing research on what audiences to reach out to from some of your competitors so you can see what people in your sphere and your industry are already focusing on so that you can be on the same page when you're marketing your products and services. Or this is incredibly helpful if you're a business trying to collaborate with other businesses and trying to get in front of them. So all you have to do in order order to see these hashtags is go to the desktop version of Instagram. This does not work on mobile. You do have to go over to the desktop version and you're going to go and search the company that you want to be looking at those hashtags for. Go over to their profile and on their profile, you're going to see their following, who they are going to be following. Click on the following tab and that will come up with a list of people that they are then following, but also you can click over to hashtags. Now here's the trick with this especially if you're an influencer or you're a company looking to get in front of another brand, you are looking to see what you can easily be accessing them through. So they may follow some high level hashtags with millions and millions of people. This is not going to help your case. You are going to want to focus on those lower number hashtags because if they are following them, they are actively watching them and they will be served those things inside of their feed as they're scrolling through their feeds. And so You can be one of millions and get lost in there and you probably won't be seen very much. But if you're on those lower hashtags where not a lot of people are implementing their content with that hashtag, you're much more likely to then be seen on their scroll as they're going through things, as they're actually searching those hashtags, as they're being served potential content that they might like, you're much more likely to be seen if you are on the lower side of those hashtags. So when it comes to this, you are going to start doing your research, especially if you are an influencer, you want to be looking at what is going to serve you best when getting in front of these different entities. So go over to each pro- uh, each company's page that you want to be looking at their hashtags, follow their hashtag. Now see if there's any crossover elements. So make yourself a list of hashtags that are on the lower side. You don't necessarily need to be including the higher side of those hashtags because it's just not going to serve you. You're going to get lost in it. And with Instagram saying several years ago that we should be using no more than five hashtags because it confuses the algorithm, you have to be very clear and specific on the hashtags you're going to be using. So with that in mind, you want to be taking account of all the hashtags that these companies are using. And if you find crossover hashtags, lean heavily into those because then you have the opportunity to get in front of multiple companies at once. We're working smarter, not harder here. But if you're going after one specific brand that you really want to work with, look at the ones that are those lower level hashtags that don't have as many hashtags being used or don't have as many people using those hashtags and start heavily working with those. Now, of course, if you are trying to get the attention of brands and companies, you also want to make sure that you are implementing content that is going to get their attention. So talk about their products and services, actually show them off, tag them in your content. You want to make sure that you are getting in front of them as much as possible. So be in their hashtags, but also be in their tags if it is actually relevant. You're not tagging people just for the sake of tagging people. You do want to make sure that you are actively and engagingly tagging them in content that is relevant to them because it's about them. With that in mind, you can go over and you can check all those hashtags on the desktop version of Instagram, make your list, decide which ones you're going to be using, and then on a rotating basis, use the most relevant ones to the content that you are putting out there, and then make sure you have that plan behind you for how else you're going to be seen by these companies. If you've got questions on this, go ahead and drop those down below, but follow along because we have full playlists on how to leverage Instagram, how to leverage Instagram Reels, how to be dealing with all the social media changes on Instagram and the other social platforms, but we also have a full playlist for entrepreneurs, a full playlist for influencers, and we've got lots of things out there to help you thrive and make this your most profitable year ever, as well as videos we drop every single day to help you navigate the world of social media, the changing algorithms and platform editions how to save time and effort creating your content so you can make more money online but spend less time doing it, and how to make sure that you are running your business while also creating luxury time so that you can live your best life with what you're doing because we're working smarter, not harder, so that you can make this more profitable for you but take away a lot of that stress element. We'll see in the upcoming episodes.